The frequency of the teeth on these two combs are pretty well matched. You know this because the teeth can all line up to allow light to pass through. Let's call this constructive interference. You can also line them up so that the light is blocked. Let's call this destructive interference. But look what happens with two combs not so well matched. You get patches of both constructive and destructive interference. The same thing happens with sound. Let's start with 440 hertz from two devices. By the pure, unmodulated tone, we can tell that the two sounds are matched. But listen to what happens when we put one device at 442 hertz. We have moments where the sound waves build upon each other, making it louder. Constructive interference. In moments where they tend to cancel each other out, making it quieter. Destructive interference. These periodic variations in the loudness from two mismatched frequencies, they're called beats. The difference between 442 hertz and 440 hertz is 2 hertz. That's why the beats have a frequency of 2 hertz. Let's move one device to 444 hertz. You're now hearing twice as many beats per second, or a beat frequency of 4 hertz. Listening for beats is a helpful way to tell if your musical instrument is in or out of tune. If you're hearing beats, then the answer is no. And the more beats you hear, the farther off you are. Go for the crystal clear, unmodulated tone, and you'll be in tune. Dolphins use beats to detect moving objects, such as their next meal. They'll send out an acoustic signal that returns to them after bouncing off their target. If the object is moving faster or slower, then, because of the Doppler effect, there'll be a slight difference in the frequency of the return signal, which shows up as beats. This tells the dolphin how much it has to speed up or slow down for dinner. Good energy. Mm -hmm.